The Prime Minister has taken aim at opponents of the Indigenous voice, calling them chicken littles of the past. Like the Trudy McIntosh. So, Trudy, we've had reaction to this mm. already. Yeah, Peter Dutton's not happy with this, Tom. The Prime Minister's yet even to say these words out of his own mouth today. Instead, this was the advanced copy that's been provided to the media ahead of an oration that Anthony Albanese will deliver later tonight in Adelaide. He's going to once again reiterate why he believes the Indigenous voice to Parliament needs to be enshrined in the Constitution. And despite the fact that we're seeing support for the Yes campaign slide in the published polls, he believes that Australians ultimately will back this proposal in when we head to the referendum later this year. But the Prime Minister has taken a pretty clear swipe at opponents of the Indigenous voice, calling them doomsayers, uh, and with some pretty colourful language. We can show you part of this speech that he'll deliver tonight. He says he believes Australians have a healthy scepticism of doomsayers, a scepticism kept in good health by memories of all of the predictions offered by the chicken littles of the past. Opposition leader Peter Dutton, leading the No campaign in many ways, he says that these sort of names shouldn't be used. There should be a respectful debate on both sides of the argument. Uh, the Prime Minister out there name-calling people and uh, others suggesting that uh, people are racist because they don't support the voice, uh, it's completely and utterly unacceptable. If the Prime Minister wants a 1967-type outcome, then go with the proposition that's before them the Prime Minister now, that is constitutional recognition. There's overwhelming support. I think there would be 80% support for it in the community. But there's not overwhelming support for The Voice, and it's a bridge too far. Meanwhile, Trudy, there's been public calls to the Ukrainian ambassador here in Australia for more assistance from Australia. A hint from the Defence Minister, more aid could be on the way. Well, Richard Miles declared today, Tom, that Australia is punching above its weight in terms of providing military assistance. But there have been these growing calls, as you say, for more aid to, uh, to flow. There was big fanfare last year when Australia agreed to provide those Bushmaster military vehicles. This year's military assistance from the Australian government, though, amounts to the... $33 million of spy drones that have been sent. Former Prime Minister Tony Abbott was on the ground in Kiev. He used this opportunity to call for Australia to do more. As you say, Ukraine's ambassador here in Canberra calling on the government to provide a Hawkeye military vehicles. We're yet to see confirmation, but Richard Miles indicating they're working on this behind the scenes. There's something that will be provided. You just can't announce that just yet? We're working through all the details of that with the government of Ukraine. I'm not about to announce mm. it now. Um, what no, but we, you can but say, yes, something's know. coming in this window. We get that. Uh, we can't announce it yet. Details to come, but... Well, well, details are to come, and but 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 also to be clear, um, we're in a really transparent process with Ukraine itself. So um, the, the government of Ukraine is, is really aware of, of all that we are looking at doing. The Prime Minister is expected to head to Europe for the NATO summit in July. And, Tom, there's some speculation that that is where we could see an announcement on more joint military assistance. Indeed. Sounds like it. Trudy, thank you.